November 7th, 2011. Pumpkin patch is still looking horrible. There is no pumpkin patch anymore on this side, but all is not lost. I have a pumpkin growing right there. And it's hard and it's slowly growing. And I think this is gonna be a white pumpkin. I, I don't know. Because it does, it should have been green if it was going to turn into an orange pumpkin. I think that's how it works. As you can see, the leaves do have powder and mildew. I haven't really been out here, and there's poop from the melon worm caterpillars. I kind of gave up out here, so I haven't been spraying or anything, and I really didn't think anything was going to happen, so it was a real surprise when I found this pumpkin out here. I am going to fertilize it a little bit later today, and, uh, it has been raining, so that's been helping a little bit, but the rest of this patch is pretty much gone. But here's one of the pumpkins that I'm hoping that I'll have for Thanksgiving. Oh, and I think that this, if it is a white pumpkin, or maybe it turns into a yellow pumpkin later, I did plant a bunch of seeds from a yellow pumpkin that I bought last year. Um, that was the one, if you guys watched my jack-o'-lantern video from 2010, it's the one that had the stars and the space and the rockets, all the space themes. I wonder if this is one of its descendants. That would be cool. So here are the loofahs. They are doing great. I am still amazed that this is a piece of a plant that got severed from the main pot. <laughs> and it took root right down in there and has been making fruits whereas the main vine went all the way up into the neighbor's tree and got really huge but never did anything so that's nuts and this is the longest and, and biggest one I'm gonna have to measure this because it's pretty neat and I've been looking up there's not much info these are called extra long loofahs this is about as white as they get I've heard they get about two inches in diameter so it's more of a novelty thing it's probably not going to make a good bath sponge but it's they're cool to have hanging around and when they're young they're, wow. they're edible and uh yesterday i had one that fell off the vine premature and it's uh in the refrigerator i have no idea how to cook it or what to do with it i've read that you can stir fry it but i'm not a cook i don't i don't cook things I suck at it. I'm the type that can burn water. And cooking is chemistry. I suck at chemistry. So, but anyways, here's a new one, and it's really cool because somehow it's got a a coil in it. So this one's curly. That's really neat. And maybe I'll show the one in the refrigerator. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Oh, and uh, yeah, I took down all the gourd vines. This is empty now. So I'm going to have to clean out everything in here and prepare for next year. Although, this came up on its own. And I'm going to let it go and see what it does. I know what kind of gourd it is, but it is a gourd. And I did plant a bunch of seeds in here that weren't coming up. And then they finally came up, and I guess this one... Uh, once it got sunlight, was able was just a, a late sprouter, so that's a good surprise. All right, let's check out the now what is the official pumpkin patch. Okay, so the side yard is now the official pumpkin patch. It's funny because I planted these and I was like, I'm gonna leave them alone. They're on their own on the elements, and whatever happens, they're probably not gonna do very well. I didn't fertilize these as much. Some of them I did. Uh, and I didn't water them as much. And they're finally doing better. I think it has to do with the fact that the weather has gotten better. It's gotten cooler, it's not so hot, and there have been a few cold nights in the 50s, which means fewer insects. And the lack of insect pressure, I think, has really helped. So, we got a gourd here. It's getting pretty big. 
it's nice. I'm right next to the uh, the doves here. And then this one. I love this one. It's so big. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but it's cute. And then my favorite, Pride and Joy over here. A real pumpkin. An orange pumpkin. Not very big. Um, I'm noticing that the pumpkins I'm getting, if they're meant to be big, they're growing kind of stunted. But the good thing is that, uh, at least I'm getting something. So, that's good. I mean, I, it has been so hard over the years. And the fact that I got this guy, this one's older than the white one I showed. Um, I'm just happy to, to get any pumpkin, even if they're stunted. At least I have a pumpkin now. And I think that one should be in time for Thanksgiving. Uh, this is, I know I didn't label any of these, but uh, this is an, an orange bulldog. I can tell now by the shape and the color. So orange bulldog was bred by the University of Georgia and they are specifically designed to uh, be resistant to our diseases down here. They're not resistant to insects but uh, they are disease resistant, which the powdery mildew is so bad. This vine is incredible. Another reason is that I think that these are doing so well because of these gals. My chickens are out of here and the pigeons are out here and they're pooping everywhere and that's good fertilizer. Right, Zuka? Are you guys feeding my plants? Hello, raptor. Oh, don't want to be petted. Okay, anyways. Big, big leaf. And beautiful flowers, but they're all males right now. I wish we'd get more females. A little bee in there. But this little vine over here. Oh, and it's fall. All the warblers are down from up north. So we've got lots of warblers and lots of birds of prey. Third pumpkin. It's another Georgia Bulldog. Found it the other day. was very pleased. It's doing very well and Zuka has to investigate everything that I do. Right, Chicky? <laughs> Chicky girl. There's the cheaper. She's gotten friendlier. She used to be bad when she was young, but now she's a good girl. She's come around. Let's see. I don't think there's any female pumpkins in this plant yet, but it's getting beautiful growth on it. Oh, and there is a tiny one that's kind of scraggly on the other side. Let's see if I, I pollinated it yesterday, and I'm hoping it's just a normal orange pumpkin of some sort. Would be nice to have a normal orange pumpkin. Whoa, big bug. Where is it? Ah, there it is. I don't know if it worked. Let's hope this one makes it too. That'd be nice. So that pretty much is the update on the pumpkin patch and garden. Here's hoping for a pumpkin-filled Thanksgiving. Quick addition, I just found this cord. Ha! So I'm making another of those funny looking gourds. Like the one over there. Oh, wow! Another one! Okay, so this video isn't quite done yet. I didn't even see it when I was filming it. Right there. Oh, something chewed on it, but I think it'll be alright. It should make it. Excellent. This is gonna be another good harvest.